Hi hey everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Randy. So I'm a little bummed right now because I started recording a reaction to um, a Patrice O'Neill comedy special that was on YouTube and it was labeled Full Special 2016. Maybe it said last full special or something. So I was under the impression I had not seen it. Clicked it, sat down, started recording and a couple times I said some of these sound familiar. And about 10 minutes in, I realized there were too many familiarities. So I checked it and it was actually a special from, I think 2004 that I had already reacted to. So I just wasted quite a bit of time uh, starting a reaction to a special. So I wanted to ask you to let me know in the comments what specials from Patrice you want me to watch or just what specials you know of. I have watched Patrice's elephant in the room i have watched a 2004 special from the comedy store i think is what it was called and then i think there was a 30 minute special that i watched but to my recollection that is all of the full specials that i have watched from patrice o'neill and so i looked through my comments and a few of you suggested the nasty show and so when i searched it on youtube there's two different clips there's this one that's 31 minutes and then there's part two, which is 20 minutes. So today I'm going to watch part one. So this is 31 minutes long and 32 more, more so. And then next week I'll watch that 20 minute clip, but please let me know in the comments here what other Patrice O'Neill specials I should check out that I haven't. What other specials are there that I haven't because I don't want to just search on YouTube. And if you can link the special, that would be awesome because I, I wasted time because apparently people on YouTube like to mislabel things and um, trick you. Anyway, without further ado, here is Patrice O'Neill, The Nasty Show. Is this the beginning because it feels like we are starting in a weird place? I looked on YouTube for the nasty show and this one and then it's part two look like the the main ones. Step it up in the bedroom. <laughs> Most of you are losers and you're fucking, tell her, she's a loser in the bedroom, tell her. She doing everything you like? Come on, come on. Everything, everything pretty much. That means no, motherfucker, stop. Sweetie, that's what he just told you. Pretty much, not step, step it up. Step it up. You have a pee on her? You have a pee on her? You have a pee on her? You want a pee on her? <laughs> it's hard to introduce piss to the relationship, you know? apple juice <laughs> and I gotta pee right now but I ain't gonna make it to the bathroom can I pee on you please schnookums maybe you call them schnookums to the help <gasps> boo bear can I pee on you <laughs> tickle her oh coochie cool <laughs> can't tell her like you know how do you tell women you love just what I'm saying you gotta be nasty right you can't tell them if you love them you can't tell them how to do certain things and like love them you can't go oh baby listen why are you why are you sucking my dick can you just can you can you can you just spit on it <laughs> and then she tries to love you and spit on it <laughs> 
And then you go, no, no. Can you just, oh. And let it run down the shaft onto the balls, precious. He makes it feel bigger. <laughs> oh, shit. Ain't that fun when your girl gags when your shit feel enormous? This crowd stinks. Too many couples. I've, I've been here a week. Um, Montreal's pussy whip, very pussy whip town. The vaginas have it. They are running you fags. You are pussies in this town. Hear that? Look at the fella. Ooh, sacre blue, huh, motherfucker? You <laughs> just take it in the ass, don't you? A lot of old women here, too. A lot of old pussy in Montreal. 30 and over. You know. 30 old pussy is old, man. Pussies like cars, it ain't like houses. <laughs> Eat no 30 old pussy, it tastes like you're licking an alligator's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this table right here. They just appalled. <laughs> Women just bring our fun. That's what your jobs are, ladies, is to bring down man fun. When men are having fun, you're here to just ah! swoop down like fire breathing parrots and just. Ah! That's stupid. Ah! <laughs> understand men this is why you, you just you hate us because you don't understand how, how, why we're just better than you in terms of having a good time right it's because men are dumb and we're philosophical about our dumbness like we're we can have hours and hours of fun off of dumb shit y'all don't know how to do that like here's a man conversation that could go on for two days hey hey would you fuck a girl if she didn't have a nose <laughs> so emotional i'll give you one guess it's it's it, because come right come is emotional and you don't come on the outside of your body that's why guys are so free we get to see our evil we get to see i, I jerk evil out every day if i you know how many fucking murders there aren't because i jerked off you know how many times i would have killed a motherfucker if i didn't just shoot a murder like oh shit i was gonna kill a motherfucker because of because of that but y'all shit is stuffed up in there. You can't really get it out. You can. It's, it's scientifically, you can get it out. I know, I know how to do it, and most older men know how to do it. Young guys don't. It's a finger popping technique. Um, this is a young guy's finger popping technique, 20 years, 18 years. Remember the first time you was finger popping the first time and you hit the little ball in the back of the pussy? Remember, I thought I hit a liver. Like, you hit the, I'm like, oh shit, what is that? Is that a kidney? Did I just hit your kidney? There's a ball inside your pussy, sweetie. <laughs> now you, I use three fingers to slide it up and um, get it in there. And, uh, and then it's like the apex is right here about, and you just pull towards you. And <laughs> and you know it's working because she goes, stop, stop, I gotta pee. And you'd be like, you ain't, you ain't gotta fucking pee. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> and 
you just spray everywhere. If you could come like a guy, you wouldn't take his face and go, come here, motherfucker, come here. <laughs> Shove it down and kick him. <laughs> Call him a bitch. And he wouldn't cry like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> Don't make your dick feel bigger than it is. Like, you know, but I'm like, ah, 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 there is no space for nothing inside the vagina. Air has to get the fuck, like, air has to be squeezed out because there's no more room for shit. Mm. Well, my dick is in vain. It just, that's right, get out, air, because my dick needs room. Oh, I'm blushing. Someone did warn me in the comments that the, the nasty show was, in fact, nasty. Ooh, and we're only eight minutes in. Does it lighten up or are we just... Is this how the whole special is? My face hurts. Why didn't it play? I pressed the button. Fish hooker? Oh, you know a fish hooker? Fish hooker is, is when you're fucking your woman from behind and you just reach in the front. <laughs> but she has to be really into it, though, to make it fun. I, I, I make fish faces and shit. Shut up, shut up. You have a donkey puncher, sir? I'm not making it up. Donkey punch is fucking her from behind, right? And just before you come, you punch her in the back of the head, so she shook, goes into shock and seizes up. Everything seizes up, including the vagina, and just tightens up. This. And it's supposed to be the best cum ever. It's supposed to be, because it just wraps around your dick from, like, shock pussies. Like, it's supposed to be amazing. You have a gorilla mask? Gorilla mask? That's, you, you come in her face, right? And then take some pubic hair and throw it at her. What on earth? You have a Darth Vader? Darth Vader, you come in both her nostrils and she has to breathe like this. <laughs> you have a poltergeist? Poltergeist is good. And then you sneak out, and he takes your place, and then you walk outside and wave at her through the window. How is the window you open? Go, I'm here. Stunk, Jay. How about the angry pirate? You ever angry pirate? That was good. You, you come in her eye, right? And then you kick her in her leg, and she's hopping around like, ah! <laughs> Sand, but you just put it back in. <laughs> oh, shit. You have a spider man? Spider man is you come in your hand and then sling it in a face. <laughs> She looks back, you really get her in the face. <laughs> and then you go, ta da! Right, we gotta go, man. Y'all take care, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. We gotta go. Well, it's only been 12 minutes, and this says it's 30 minutes. 
Oh, is the nasty show several different specials? So is that part one, uh, like episodes, sort of, or different appearances? Let me know exactly because this says just for laughs back here. And up here it says the nasty show, but he's done. He's he's done with that set. By demons and Tell me, is this something different? I feel like I can't trust these YouTube titles at all. Demons <laughs> sit there and judge like what I'm saying like you we not you know people together it's just like <laughs> the audio is not great at all but you ever watch the news right and you just watch it and you just and you can't give a fuck like you, you like <laughs> no matter what happens you're just like oh man like, like 30,000 people died in the earthquake in China and you're just like oh And this is just for laughs as well. Are you trying? Like you, it's not that you're not doing it. You just can't. You're like, oh my God, no, no. I don't know. I wonder what year this is from. <laughs> yeah. I can't get on with the story until you know who Diane is. 
really quickly I want to pause and say it sounds there's a lot of background noise going on so I know you can probably hear that that's not for me it's on this video that I'm watching because I hear it too um, so hopefully you can still hear him and me over that. And I don't know what this means you know, audio Takes you two hours to get to that point. Did Diane get shot? She didn't get shot. Did she shoot somebody? No. Well, what the fuck? Yeah. Why oh, does she matter? I just saw the story with Diane. <laughs> she don't like guns. She don't like guns. Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> I find this really funny I I probably do something like that on occasion but in my marriage it's the opposite with my husband tells stories there tends to be a lot more context than a story needs so hearing him talk about it I can relate to it but from his perspective you know <laughs> <laughs> Form of a giant twat that don't like nothing that's coming out my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what it is. Like, you just you, you've never had to be charming in your life ever. You never had to charm your way into nothing. You never had to talk your way into nothing. Never had to be smooth, especially when it comes to getting sex. Like you you get dick because you have a vagina. <laughs> Figure out how to fucking like look at them. What are you talking about? Maybe some girls. I guess I got a bugger, right? But, but then I start laughing and 
and say, if I ever made that my way to get pussy, like I've been down some of my balls and ass on the show. <laughs> wouldn't work. You should be ashamed of yourself sometimes. You just don't respect what's going on. You really <laughs> fucking don't. And we respect you. Men respect you with all our hearts. We fucking, we really take time to understand your issues. And the thing is, what, what happened is God cursed you with misery that everyone can see. Like, men don't have any visual misery that you can ever you really give a fuck about. Like, you ever be with a guy, ladies? Like he's on his period. Like he's acting strange and all. You know what that is? He's being faithful. I'm serious because it's just with fight and not to. And listen, he's being faithful, so you can't get mad at that because he's not fucking other people. He just we want to fuck other women. That's just a curse. As a period, when I don't get no side pussy, my head hurts, I get cramps, I curl up in the shower and cry for no reason. I don't want to fuck her no more. <laughs> <laughs> Not that anybody cares, man. I started mine in middle school in the lunchroom. I was standing in line getting like where you take your trays. Well, I guess different cafeterias look different, but something felt off. And when I got up to pay, somebody told me you could see stuff. And I started crying in the lunchroom hundreds of other students. I can't remember what grade that was, sixth or seventh. And it was so humili humiliating and scarred me as far as just such a terrible time to begin. Uh, but a friend loaned me their jacket to tie around my waist and I went to the office and my grandmother ended up coming to get me that day. But it was, I wouldn't want to start in a McDonald's. That would be also, weird. Anyway, sorry. Why, God? Why? Is my, what the? What's the point? How can you not be miserable? You know what I'm saying? Having children—that's just motherfucker. Having children and also loving them. The process. <laughs> like men love their kids, but we love when we grow. Kids, the love of a child grows on a guy. I mean, he, he has a—you know—we don't give a fuck about the process. <laughs> This means nothing. The, the our half of creation. Let me jerk off all the time. You feed off and shit. That's our part of life. Just jerk off and shit. You can be in love with a woman like, oh, I love her so much, but I just want to have a family with her. I just I want to have a child with her. And then you go, nah, I want the titties. <laughs> That's much better than a family. Did Patrice have kids? Screaming out, you fucking idiot! Hold his neck up, he can't breathe! And 
mouth. See, like, stink. Like a stinking ass is like, what the, what the, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, your ass stinks. Go to the car wash and walk through it. But, like, smell is different. Smell is like, <laughs> I don't know what to say. That was, um, ooh, nasty in some places. Uh, so after this one, there was one other one. So the person who uploaded this, na this nasty show, they uploaded one that says part two. Uh, yeah, it just says the nasty show part two. So next week I'll watch that one. But let me know in the comments. If both of these clips, because these were obviously two separate stand-up clips, are they both from a series called The Nasty Show or what? Please let me know what they were actually called so I can correctly title this video and in the description as well as next week's. Um, anyway, thanks for the recommendation. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.